Welcome to Exact Training. This lesson is on using the Visual Bomb in the Bill of Materials module. The Visual Bomb allows you to enter your product structure by dragging and dropping components from either a Part Master window or from other product structures. Today we will learn how to accomplish this task. We will review the Bomb Panes and Preference settings. We will discuss the different ways to view the existing BOM structures and will walk through how to add or remove parts from a product structure. Before we can begin adding product structures, we need to understand the different sections or panes of the visual BOM window and review some user preference settings. From the System Manager, select the Engineering tab and choose the Bill of Materials module. And the Bill of Materials window will open. You can now click on the Visual Bomb icon or select the Activity menu and select Visual Bomb. Now that we have the preferences set, Let's take a look at the three different panes of the Visual Bomb. The first is the Part Master pane. This pane shows all the parts in your system. This is where you can search for parts to review their product structures or to add a product structure. You can browse for parts using several different options. Let's look for a part by the Part Description 1 field. Type something in the search field and click the search button to locate the part. We can now see all the parts that fit the criteria we entered. Click the Erase button to clear the search. We can now see the part in the Product Structure pane. This pane is used to view the component part numbers required to build this part in a tree view. It can also be used to copy current bombs into a different bomb. We will talk more about this later in the lesson. We will see the part in the Bomb Builder pane. This pane is used to add or modify your product structures. We'll come back to this pane later in the lesson. You can modify the size of any of these panes by clicking on the grid line and dragging and dropping. Let's expand the view of the Part Master and Product Structure panes. Click on the grid and drag it to the left. Now we'll adjust the size of the Part Master and Product Structure panes the same way. This plus button will expand the structure view beyond the single view level to show the subassembly component information. You can now see the exploded view of the structure. Click the one button to return to the single level view. Now let's add a new bomb structure using the bomb builder pane. Just like in the Product Structure pane, clicking in the plus button will explode the structure to show all components at all levels. And clicking the one button will return us to a single level view. And now the part is added to the structure. 